demo um, for irrigator crossing springs. These are Gallagher's um, new inline irrigation springs. Um, as you can see, the plain both ends. Um, generally, these are used when uh, pivot irrigator wheels are crossing multiple times or at once. So it's general rule of thumbs: one for every three wheels. These are all pretty self-explanatory. They've got uh, restrictor wires in them now, so they can't overextend. They've also got cable ties on the ends where you thread the wire through, so there's no confusion. So basically first, cut your wire, which is pretty obvious. Dig one end in the ground so you don't lose it. Thread your wire through where the cable tie is. And then six wraps minimum around. Same the other end, We're through the loop where the cable tie is. Make sure you don't go through both of them, otherwise you won't get any extension. So through the piece with the cable tie, and then same again, six wraps. Cool, and that's uh, Gallagher double loop pivot spring in line. I'm going to do a demo for the Gallagher's new um, pivot spring, insulator and strainer assembly. Um, it's an all-in-one package. Um, I use them all the time in my business and to me they're just they're a no-brainer. It's the time they save in labour is just, yeah, it's phenomenal. So anyway, it's basic, just grab your, you've got your termination wire on, thread your white end insulator through, tie it off. Six wrap minimum is required. Um, these are all uh, pretty self explanatory. They've got a pretty loop with a D shackle, so you can't go wrong. Then just grab your plain end wire. Thread it through, and then just grab a crescent or any tool required to tighten it up. And just tighten until your spring expands to the point where you can get a piece of high tensile wire through those gaps. Only just. That's basically the rule of thumb. Slightly tighter. And you're done. One Gallagher inline um, pivot spring installed. The time that saves is just phenomenal, as I said before. Uh, I'm just going to show a few materials that uh, Gallagher have bought out for their new um, irrigation crossings. So, the central items your um, alkathene pipe, which uh, threads onto your wire. So, that'll be in the middle of your fence where the irrigator wheel crosses. Um, the Gallagher pin locks, which come out standard with a black pin, but they have bought out special orange hardened pins, and they're generally on each side of your crossing. Um, the new Gallagher clips, which I will show shortly in a demonstration. They also got a their anchor ropes and D shackles, which come as a pack. Uh, contents of 10 um, and last but not least their uh, anchor which is 400mm which gets driven in the ground 
and your D shackle goes on that and then anchor it. Um, as you can see we've already had the Gallagher pipe pre-threaded pre and we've driven their um, anchors in already. So first step, D shackle. which goes into a pre-drilled hole on their, on their anchors um, make sure you just give it a tighten once it's on next we've got our clips that go on our 2.5 wire this is great, so quick plus they've got the other use of the old style of anchor systems where they used to thread down through there if that perishes, it's hard to replace. With these things, you can just go and buy these for pre-existing fences and just bang them straight on. Away you go. So they just clip straight on. The 2.5 wire, as you can see, they've got a wee cut through there that just push them straight on. Then with your cable which is supplied with your shackles up through the back of the holes back down the front D shackle then tie it off in a knot it's important to leave a bit of slack so when the fence goes down after when the wheel crosses and flips back up flips back up it doesn't put too much pressure on your cable or anything so. Thank you.